Republican senators blocked a White House request for $106 billion in emergency aid, primarily for Ukraine and Israel. And the vote marked a major defeat for Biden, who had warned Congress earlier in the day that Putin would not stop with victory in Ukraine and could even attack a NATO nation. Take a listen. If Putin takes Ukraine, he won't stop there. It's important to see the long run here. He's going to keep going. He's made that pretty clear. If Putin attacks a NATO ally, if he keeps going, and then he attacks a NATO ally, well, we've committed as a NATO member that we defend every inch of NATO territory. Now, the package would include roughly $60 billion to help Ukraine keep up pressure on Russia during the frigid winter months. It would also include around $10 billion for Israel in its conflict with Hamas militants, plus some aid for Taiwan. Chuck Schumer, the Democratic Senate leader, had committed to holding a vote later on adding that the border security measures demanded by the Republicans. But the 49-strong Republican minority in the 100-member upper chamber voted in mass against moving forward. They pointed to a lack of government action as well. Frankly, I think it's stunning that we've gotten to this point in the first place. While Congress and Republicans in Congress are willing to give Putin the greatest gift he could hope for and abandon our global leadership, <clears throat> not just in Ukraine, but beyond that. We've all seen the brutality that Putin has inflicted on Ukraine, invading another country, trying to subjugate his neighbors to his iron rule. Biden was speaking after a video summit with Ukrainian President Zelensky and the leaders of G7 nations to discuss how to shore up Western aid for Kiev. Zelensky warned the leaders that Moscow was counting on Western unity to collapse next year and said that Russia had ramped up pressure on the front lines of the war. Russia hopes only for one thing, that next year the free world's consolidation will collapse. Russia believes that America and Europe will show weakness and will not maintain support for Ukraine at the proper level. Putin believes that the free world will not fully enforce its own sanctions and the Russian elite mocks the world's doubts about using frozen Russian assets to compensate for damage from Russian aggression. Well, the precarious prospects for the aid package had been clear since the classified Ukraine briefing for senators saw a lot of Republicans walk out. They were angry that there was no talk of border security. Zelensky had been due to address the meeting through a video link, but cancelled at the last minute. In the House, Speaker Mike Johnson has made clear he will not agree to sending any more money without transforma transformative changes to border policy. The Louisiana Republican has also declared that any Israel aid needs to be offset with spending cuts. A policy Democrat. Democrats, a White House and many and most Senate Republicans oppose this. Now, the State Department separately announced a stopgap $175 million tranche of new aid for Ukraine on Wednesday. It includes prize high-mars rockets, shells, missiles and ammunition.